Mom, if you're not ready, could you at least come out and say hi to Rick? Hmm. Are you saying that neither one of you have ever met Erica's mother? No, we haven't. I've spoken to her on the phone, though. She seems very pleasant. And Rick did tell me that Erica and her mother had some problems. Oh. Well, she's a teenager. That's rather typical, isn't it? You and Bridget have been pretty lucky. You haven't had a lot of that. Mm. Mm hmm. Did she tell you why she couldn't come tonight? <sighs> oh, I, well, she's working, isn't she? Oh. Oh, that's too bad. I think Erica would have appreciated having another young person here tonight. And Bridget's been so supportive of Rick with all this happening with Amber, with her moving out. Well, she can relate to that, can't she? You know what I think's important about tonight is that we don't push this girl on Rick. <laughs> oh, I agree, absolutely. This is not my intention at all. Do you hear that, you guys? No teasing Rick about Erica. OK. But is there something romantic going on between them? No. No, not at all. I don't think Rick is at all ready to get involved in another relationship. I'm just glad there's somebody in his life who's been helpful to him and not giving him a bad time, you know? Oh, as opposed to Amber. Is that what you're saying? Stephanie, we all know you're close with Amber, but even you must see that her behavior has been intolerable. Why, yes, I see that. I understand that. And I realize for most of their relationship, Rick's had to put up with a lot of her drama. But I was hoping against hope that they would be able to work into something, you know, more stable. I guess, I guess she's just not capable of that right now. But it makes me sad. It really does, because I think they love one another. So what is it that you want to talk to me about? I didn't want you to hear it from somewhere else. Stephanie called me earlier and invited me to a family dinner that Eric is putting together tonight. Oh. Well, it's OK. It's OK. Um, I don't expect to be invited to any family parties right now anyway. I mean, given what happened last time. Is that what you're worried about? No. There's more? Yeah. Oh, god. Erica's going, isn't she? She's going with Rick. She's going as his, his state. She's going to be a lot more than just his state. What do you mean? She's the guest of honor. <gasps> what? I guess it's just something that Eric wants to do to show his appreciation for everything she's done for Rick. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much, Erica. Thank you so much for drugging my daughter-in-law and then busting up her marriage. Well, they don't really want to believe that's what happened, if that is what happened. You know, they don't care. They don't care. They are just glad to be rid of me. Oh, Amber, stop it. That is not true. They are not happy about any of this. Look, all they know is that Rick has been going through a lot lately, and Erica has been right there to help him through it and been very supportive, and they just want to show her how much they appreciate it. Who's going to be there? Are you going to be there? No. No. Rich and I aren't going. I think uh, Eric and Stephanie, Bridget, probably Thorne, I don't know, uh, Erica's mother. Erica's mother? Yeah. I, I, I heard something about she lives somewhere here in town. She lives with Erica. Which means there's no one in their apartment tonight. Amber, what are you thinking? No. No! Look, Mom, Rick doesn't care what you look like. He just wants to meet you. What are you doing? No, I'm, I'm just not ready to meet any foresters, all right? Look at, look at me. Look at my hair. Look what I'm wearing. Rick doesn't care about that, Mom. I do, Erica. You know, first impressions, they're, they're really important. Why don't, why don't you guys just go on to the party and, and I'll be right behind you. You promise? Yeah, of course. All right. Honey, I love you so much. 
And I am so excited for you. You know, tonight you're going to be entering a, a world full of new possibilities. Mom, it's just dinner. I'll see you later. She's just being weird. Let's just go. Well, she's still coming, right? Yeah. She just wants to make a good first impression. Okay. Goodbye, Mrs. Lovejoy. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Look, Mom, don't be too long, okay? My baby. Hey, it's just me. What are you doing? What's it look like? It looks like you're leaving. Yeah. For how long? Forever. Does Erica know? Should be better off, Siggy. So that's a big no? I can't stay. You know, Rick, he came here today. He almost saw me. Eric has called, Taylor's been here, Amber's been digging around, and you know she's not gonna stop. And it's only a matter of time before one of them figure out who I am, who Erica is. And she's on the brink of, of starting a whole new life, something that every girl dreams of. I don't wanna ruin it for her. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, thank you. Sure. So, Dad, what's the story? The story? What story? You and Mom. Come on, she moved out of Massimo. She's here tonight. Yeah, well, I wouldn't read too much into that. Well, I wouldn't read too little either. Here they are. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Erica, welcome. Thank you. Your mother didn't come with you? Uh, no. I thought you were picking her up. I was going to. But she's uh, still at the apartment. <clears throat> Look, there's nobody at the apartment right now. I'm not going to have Amber, an you are like not again. going to break into her apartment. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I won't have to. Maybe there is a key under the mat. Oh, Amber. <sighs> OK, and if not, if not, I can just ask around. Maybe one of the neighbors recognizes Lance from this picture, and if I can prove that they knew each other before the party, then Rick will realize she's been lying. I don't like it. I have a really bad feeling about all of it. Well, I don't. Because I know once I get there, I'm going to find something to tie Erica to everything that's gone wrong in my life. Wait. 
Okay, I'm coming with you. No, no, Taylor, I'll be fine, okay? Besides, Ridge would kill you. I can handle Ridge. No, look, it's bad enough that my marriage is screwed. I'm not gonna cause problems for yours, okay? Look, you know what? If you wanna help me, you know what you can do? Go to the party, okay? Talk to Erica and her mother. See what you can find out. Like they would even admit it to me, even if they were involved in drugging you. Well, but if you ask the right questions, I mean, okay, if I'm right about this girl and what she did to me, she's got to be completely off her rocker, and you'll be able to sense that. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll go over there. I'll see what's happening. I'll find out what I can. Okay, and I'll do the same thing at Erica's apartment. Please don't do anything weird and be very, very careful. Taylor, I'm always careful. Where, where, where are you gonna go? I don't know. What are you gonna tell Erica? I don't know. Something so she won't come looking for me. You're gonna break her heart, aren't you? It's for her own good, Zicky. <laughs> I don't know how you can say that. Look, she's living the life she was meant to live. The life that you want her to live. She wants it too. My God, haven't you seen how radiant she's become? Living in that house, growing closer to Rick, becoming part of the Forrester family. You know, nobody knows better than me what that means to her. Because I remember what it meant to me. And I will not take that away from her. So what? Instead, you're just gonna, you're gonna let her think her mom doesn't give a damn? How radiant you think she's gonna be then, huh? Just get over it. She'll have a new family to take care of her. All right, so, so what if I stay? Then they find me. Taylor and Amber, they're getting closer every single day, and they're not gonna stop. So, so they expose me. I go to jail, she loses me and Rick. Now I have to go. That's all I can do. How do I, uh, how do I get in touch with you? You don't. What if there's an, an emergency? What if, what if Erica needs you? Well, this is what she needs. For me to disappear, that's all I can do for her now. So there's nothing that I can say to make you change your mind. Then I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, Siggy. Thanks for all the help. Yeah. You know, thanks for, um... <laughs> thanks for making things interesting around here. That's what I do best. Yeah, that, that and leaving, huh? Good luck to you, Mrs. Lovejoy, or whatever your name's gonna be. What happened with Erica's mother? Well, I think she was a little intimidated by the idea of meeting us all at once. You know, I mean, come on, she's from a small town. It's just her and Erica. Big family, big house. It can be a little overwhelming. 
But she's still coming. She said she was. Well, don't worry. We'll go easy on her. <laughs> it's really important to Erica that her mother has a good time tonight. You said they're not particularly close? It could be changing. I mean, her mom is really happy for her, this, this life that she's established for herself and the connection with the family. You know, she's really giving her a lot more support. I think Erica is hoping that tonight will be a new beginning for them. Mrs. Forrester? Yes. Are you ready for me to begin serving? Uh, no, not quite. Um, one of the guests we're still waiting for. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, Rick. I really thought my mom would be here by now. Look, don't worry about it. I'm sure she's on her way. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, she's so excited about this party. This is the one time I know she's not going to let me down. Definitely her apartment. Right around the corner from Lance's. So who's that? I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Get in here. There's another window somewhere. 